Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm Alon. And welcome to another episode of The Next Man Up. Well, welcome to The Next Man Up podcast, where we help fathers guide their sons into manhood because we believe when boys become healthy and godly men, everyone benefits. I am Mark Stanifer, your host, and I'm excited you are with us today. We know there's lots of podcasts and options for you to listen to, and and we're grateful you've chosen to spend some time with this one. And more than that, we're grateful for the choice you're making to be a more engaged father to your son. Hey, men, before we get into the topic today, I wanted to let you guys know that our next Building a Rite of Passage workshop is coming up on April 18. That's a Saturday. We'll be starting at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to be right here in the central Ohio area in Westerville. And, and if, if you're wondering who this is for, this is for dads who have said, yes, I want to guide my son through an initiation process. Yes, I want to, to build this process in, in, in community with other like-minded fathers, but I'm not sure how to get started. If that sounds like you or like something you're interested in, then head over to our brand new website events page, thenextmanup.com slash events, and you can find all the information you need. We are really excited about helping dads in this way and would love for you to join us. Okay, let me bring in my co-host today. He is none other than Alan Auguste. Dude, thanks for joining me again, brother. Dude, excited to be on with you, man. Thanks for letting me be here. Appreciate it. So I have a I have a question for you, as I often do, to kind of kick off our topic or our uh, our subject for today. So here's my question: How often do you think about success? All right, it's a really good question. I, I mean, I guess I would. Uh, indirectly think about it all the time, but and then directly still yeah, quite good good amount of thoughts of the day go towards like being successful. So frequently. Yeah. Have you ever frequently have have you ever thought about how to define success specifically? Ah. Uh, now that see yes. I uh, yes. And actually I ask a lot of I ask people uh because I want to know myself how other people define success. Mm. And, man, I can never get anyone, like, everyone's all over the place when it comes to definition of success. Well, no surprise. There are lots of different, uh, <laughs> there's lots of different messages, competing ideas, uh, often, oh, yeah. often disguised in some marketing to sell or push a product or an idea to purchase. Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so 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 the idea the idea here comes from a a social media post that I saw on one of the dad forums that I belong to. And uh, the the question from a dad was was essentially this. What is it that I can teach my children that will help guarantee their success? Or like, what is most important for me to pass along to my kids around this idea of success? And and you can imagine, um, dads are contributing, so it, it's it's a man forum. You can imagine the type of responses that were popping up over and over, like yeah. like grit or determination or vision or clarity of goals or education and information, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But I found myself zooming out, and this is probably from your in- influence in, in, in my own life. I found myself <laughs> zooming out, and I was, I was wanting something different in these answers. You know, I was just wrestling with, it, it's going to be hard to distill this down to just a one word or one, one character quality or, or skill or something like that. I found myself wanting a little bit more. And I came across an answer that, that really hit, hit on it. And and essentially the answer to this question was help your child to, to define well what success means. And I read that and I thought, Oh, there, there's someone who gets it. 
And not to put down the other dads or the other ideas, because I, I think they're all beneficial and they have their place. But but the person that contributed this one was like, first figure out where you're going and, and ensure that you're going in a good place, in a, in a, in a right place, if you will. And, and then things will begin to take shape and fall in line after that. And, um, you know, it just really got me thinking about this idea of success and, and, and how, how often do we really think about what is our definition of success and are, are we wrestling with a definition that is a, is a good one, or is it simply just one that somebody gave us or a marketing message gave us or, or the, the, yeah. the cultural worldly message gave us and we've just settled? Dude, that's really good. I like, I, yeah, I like the way that that person worded that. I almost want, can I hear that one more time? Yeah, yeah. So, so it was um, help your child to define success well. Ah, that's great. I mean, that right there is like in a different vein. I think. I think because the question I have when, like, like when it comes to success and what is it, um, I guess it's like how do you how do you how do you define success? And I guess my next statement after that is. At what or for what? Success for what? Or yeah. Success in what? Um, because I guess it depends on like what 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 outcome you want and like uh, where you like, like the guy was saying where you headed that really matters the most. Like for you to actually be be even able to define it. Um, but this idea to even zoom back and go so to actually jump deeper into the the second part of that, which is for what I think that's great. Like in what or for what, or where are you, where are you going? Like, I think it starts with like, it starts with that statement of how, like, you know, what exactly are you deeming to be success? And what are you actually doing to get there? That's beautiful, man. I think that's a great way to point out kids. It's amazing. Yeah, it really it really gets to what are you aiming for? That's um that's yeah. an, that's another way to yeah, say it kind of yeah. language yeah. that I I've I've incorporated recently. You know, what what are you aiming for? Because you know, all, all of the all of the skills, the education, the, the your in, in um inherent strengths and, and abilities, they will help you to accomplish something. But is that is that something really worth accomplishing? Are are you aiming for something that's good? There's a there's a phrase that um, is attributed to William Carey, um, uh, evangelist pastor back in the day. Um, I, I've heard my dad mention this on a couple of occasions. It goes something like this: I, I'm not afraid of failure. I'm afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter. And really, what we're saying is. How can you define success for yourself, dads, as well as for your boys in such a way that it matters so that you're pointed in a direction that's a good direction and not just wake up one day and realize, oh, I've become successful, but but at what and for what, like you said? Yeah, yeah, that's really good. And, I, you know, I, and I'm, even as you're talking, I'm thinking, like, how how important that is, like for us dads to have that clearly defined for ourselves as well. Like that's 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 a really good point. Um, I just you know, I I think for a while there, even as in beginning stages of being a dad, I'm not quite sure, Mark. I could have said, uh, I know what I'm aiming for. Mm. Um, I I mean I was I was quite. Not lost, but more just floating, <laughs> doing my thing, you know. Um, but as my kids started getting getting older, you know, it's like you know, something happens when you when you have that child in your hands and you're looking down. Like things just become real clear. <laughs> uh, and like thoughts. I remember when when Aaliyah was born. I remember looking down at her 
uh, in my arms and going, okay, it's time to grow up. Like, I mean, I remember having that moment uh, with, with her, you know, and I'm thinking like, even with that, there was still like, well, what does that mean? What, and I guess, I mean, as the closer question comes that you pointed out, what, what does that mean I need to aim for? Mm. Uh, I would say that I was still fairly like floating and didn't know. And it wasn't so later, man, that I, that as I dug deep and began to address like issues of being a father and my identity and stuff, um, getting, getting to be an older gentleman that I started going, I, I need to have this clearly defined for myself. I need to know where I'm aiming. What is like, what is success for me? And really began to, um, to like chip at that and, uh, begin to, uh, let, let that stuff come to the surface and, and, and get a clear definition for, for that for myself. Um, but I mean, I gotta be honest, man, if I was to be clear, honest with you, I didn't know that when I began as a dad, I didn't, I didn't know that at all. And I'm pretty sure there's dads listening who probably like, yeah, you know what? I didn't know that at all either. Oh, I still don't know. And our encouragement is like, start, start figuring that out for yourself. Because once you start figuring that out for yourself, it is so much easier to sit down with your son, um, with your kid, with your boy, your girl, whatever. Um, in this case, like your son and start to help him start figuring out like what, ex- what success means for him. Um, or at least start to help him start seeing how to clearly define that for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even just asking the question of, uh, of your boy to be like, okay, well, what do you think success really is? Um, can foster yeah. a, a significant amount of growth and development in that conversation. And, you know, I, I can relate to, to much of what you're saying, Alon, feeling when I was younger, when I was a, an early parent, feeling like I'm still finding my own way and I don't have things figured out. And, and you know, the, the, it's often that kids begin to mature at the point where our, as, as men, our careers are maturing. And, and so, you know, men have a tendency to define themselves by what they do and, um, you know, so you've got this th- this yeah. ever evolving understanding of who you are as a man, as a dad. At the same time, your boy is watching, and your boy is wanting to know whether whether he realizes it or not. He's he's wanting to know what does success look like for me, and, and so he he's he's watching dad. And so you know, I went through my own version of that um, oh. in in my story. And I, I think understanding what success is in, you know, I'm 47 now is different than helping my 20 year old or my 17 year old boys or, or my 15 year old daughter understand what success is. But e- even just helping them to ask that question, well, what is success and why am I pursuing this? And why does this matter? Whatever, whatever this is, and and breaking apart, I think, the tendency for males to find identity or define success in the doing, whatever the doing is, breaking apart the doing piece from the being piece, and and, and placing yeah. a heavier emphasis on the being or the becoming piece. Regardless of what the doing yeah. is, because you know there's going to be success or failure in all of the doing, but that doesn't really uh-huh. change the core of the being or the the person that that you are becoming. Um, but I think um, that's so good. So yeah, good. I, I, I can I can totally relate in, in my own way in my own version to what you're saying. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny how much how a lot of this relates back to who are you. Um, I mean, you, you ask, you ask, you ask like people who they are and you're right. They, we always go to like what we do. Mm-hmm. Like, who are you? Oh, I'm a fireman. No, no, no. Who are you? No, no I, I fight fires. No, no, no. Who are you? <laughs> like, like, who are you? I know what you do. Right. But who are you? Right. And it's, and, and it's, it's, it's like ingrained in us to connect that and, 
So what happens when, like, for instance, you know, the, 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 the football star uh, in high school um, gets an injury and is out for the rest of the season and can no longer play football anymore? Like, it crashes, right? And so success in our minds all of a sudden just drops. Um, and, and so, like, this, that, the idea of connecting who we are with what we do, like, man, that, that's a, that can be a, a crazy, slippery slope when it comes to defining what is success. You know, um, so I'm, I'm with you on that. That's, that's wild. Yeah. Even that example that you give, which is a real world example, you know, somebody that is competing in some type of athletics and is, is driven to successfully do that game, whatever, whatever the game is. If for some reason that game is removed from them because of an injury or an illness or or maybe they didn't make the team, you know, if the definition of success, if all they're pointing toward was um, was success on the field or victory in the win loss column, then it, yeah. it's missing the other components that represent the being or the or the becoming. It, it's a it's a narrower definition of success when when there is a bigger and better one that will help us to to really become the people that we've been created to be agreed agreed there's a um there's a guy that i follow by the name of jordan peterson and and he he speaks into this in in his book 12 rules for life um he he has a have, have you read it you're familiar with it yeah yeah. yeah, it's a great book. It is a great book. It, at one point, he says, to journey happily may well be better than to arrive successfully. And, you know, just, just mm. let that sink in, that to journey happily may be better to, than arriving successfully. And he goes on to say, it's a mistake to aim for a better life. And, and think of this in the context of material acquisition or promotion or the the doing side of it it's he says it's a mistake to aim for a better life if it comes at the cost of worsening someone else's and so in this context yeah. of defining success what i was thinking was what he is saying is it's not a bad idea to aim to be successful to to strive to grow and, and to and to develop and pursue success but it is a bad idea if that comes at the price of somebody else or at the cost of worsening somebody else. So, you know, we could we could riff for days on all the different scenarios where that plays out. Um, yeah, yeah. But but how how driven toward success are we such that we want to improve the lives of those around us as well? Or is our success really at the cost of somebody else's life? He he just Again, he elevates the the discussion around success to uh, to a higher level. I love Jordan Peterson. <laughs> He's just a great a great thinker, man. Just a great thinker. I agree. Um, like, I he and it's it's a great way to keep like I think that's a great way to keep what we consider to be success, like in check, uh, because it, 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 it bodes well with, with the idea that we do not live on this planet alone, mm. that we live with, you know, 8 billion other people. And, you know, uh, this idea, I mean, we say it all the time, right? It takes a village and whatnot. And honestly, it takes a globe, like, you know, and so you alone being successful or I alone being successful and, like in the process, like having the ability just to step on other people at the same time, is that, it's a good question. Is that really success? Right. Um, you know, and I guess some, some could argue that it still is success. I guess, again, depending on where you're aiming, but I don't know. Like I, I always have a check in my heart when what I'm doing can end up hurting somebody else. Because part of me, part of what I consider success is that, uh, is that, you know, for whatever I do, like I want to be a person who helps others flourish. 
Uh, and so this idea that humankind around me is flourishing because of what I'm doing. Yeah. Like that, 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 that is like key marker for my life. It's, it's, it's ingrained in me um, because I really, I, I really want to be that person. And so I, I live as that person, you know? And so if I'm going to do something and it's going to step on someone, you know, it's going to crush somebody. It's going to cause someone harm. Um, I, I have to think about that real hard. And, uh, and most times, like I don't roll with it, you know? Um, so I, I'm, so for me, I consider that to be easy, but Mark, man, to be honest, there's, there's probably some people who would argue with that statement. They would, they would argue with that, that push that, that like, you know, if success comes at someone else's expense, who cares? Yeah. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. And, it's how the world works, I mean? right? Evolution, thousands yeah. of years, millions yeah. of years, maybe, you know, whatever the, whatever the current number is, that's how the world works. So mark it along, get yeah. with the, get with the times. Yeah. But do we have to though? You know what I'm saying? Do we have to like fathers? The, I guess my push is, or I say all that is like, do, do we owe it to our boys to teach them some point, something else? If we, if we want, to do our part in bringing about like a different man, you know, to take our place, to join us in this community of men. And then also take our place when we're gone to raise up the next generation of men. Like, do we owe it to our boys to teach them how to be a different man? And my answer, Mark, is always, it's, it's yes. Yes. Like, yes. I, cause, cause I truly do believe that part of being successful is is lifting up your fellow person next to you and not stepping on them, you know. Not and and and, and why? Because history has taught us a lot about, about about like what happens when someone decides that success is more important than a fellow person like standing next to them. Yeah. I mean, you from I'm um, from the extreme examples of Hitler to uh, Stalin to to like like just small examples like a bully in middle school or a bully in high school or um, whatever you just name it you know what I'm saying like you can see examples like run the gambit and like I can't see that being anyone's picture of what they want their their boy to be you know what I mean um, and so fathers we owe it to them and and so we have to teach them a different way. I, I totally agree. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't be having this conversation with you yeah. in, in this way. Yeah. Um, you know, we talk about this frequently, just raising the bar, setting the standard higher. Uh, it, it's yeah. it's easy to define success in a way that enriches self to the detriment of others. It's much harder to define success in a way that is about enriching others. And um, I, I was waiting for you to use the word flourish because I know that that is it, it's a core part of your um, your values and and how you show up, and I, I I totally agree. And I also think a a bigger broader definition of success allows for a lot of flexibility in how that is lived out. If we understand yeah. the big why and and a, and a good definition of what success is, then then the how doesn't so much it doesn't so much matter at that point. The how it, it offers a right. lot of space for creativity and and change. Whereas yeah. a much narrower definition of success um, by definition is, is more limiting. And so anyway, I think, I think we're just trying to elevate the discussion here and, and challenge, challenge fathers to, um, to think about what message of success are, are you pursuing? What definition, what are you aiming at? And, and how is that cascading to the sons that are on your heels and looking to you for guidance or looking outside of you for guidance to questions that, that are going unanswered. Um, Agreed. and look, man, I, I would be remiss if, if I didn't incorporate this as well. Um, I don't know that Jesus was talking specifically about success, but it certainly applies when he said, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? 
And again, I, yeah. I, I, I know that that passage isn't specifically around, well, how do you define success, Jesus? Um, but it, it certainly applies um, because what, yeah. What, yeah. He's, what he's saying is that the, the lie out there in the world is that you can get everything. You, you, can, you can acquire everything. You can gain the whole world. But if you're not careful in the process, you're going to find out that you've forfeited your soul. And um, yeah. I, I think, you know, if you want to start to, to re-examine what success looks like, then it, it's worthy of considering what, uh, what Jesus was saying 2,000 years ago, because it, it still applies today. Agreed. Agreed, man. Absolutely. So, so dads, he, he, here's the, here, here are the questions that we'll leave you with. How are you defining success? Is that something you've ever thought about? Ha, have, you, have you taken time to critically reflect on your either specific definition or the implied definition based on how you are living? And, and how are you helping your, def, your boys to successfully define success or, or in a healthy way define success and then pointing them in the direction to pursue it. And then for you Jesus followers out there, here's the big question. How is Jesus influencing how you live here? How is he influencing your understanding of success and the things that you are going after? All right, so a big topic, um, lots of lots of good ideas from from your side, Alon. I'm I'm appreciative of this dad forum and the um, the the story and the post to kind of inspire. And um, men, dads out there listening, if you've got a comment that um, that you want to offer, that would be great. You can find us on social at NMU Journey on Facebook and on Twitter. That's our new handle, NMU Journey. Or you can email us at feedback at the next man up.com. Thoughts, questions, suggestions. We would love for your, uh, your voice to be part of this conversation, not just, not just listening, but participating as well. So if you'd like to do that, catch us on social or give us, give us an email. Yes, yes. Alan, once again, I always appreciate your contribution and time we get Dude. to spend together this way. It's always good. Good, man. Uh, likewise, bro. Always good to hang out and talk with you. All right, buddy. Thanks, uh, those listening. Thanks for, thanks for joining in the conversation. Let's do this again next time, all right? Absolutely. Until then. Next. Adios. Adios. Hey listeners, thanks for journeying with us on this Next Man Up podcast. You know, we would love to hear from you. Maybe you have a question or an idea, perhaps a topic for us to consider. If that's you and you want to reach out to us, you can get us at feedback at the nextmanup.com. That's feedback at the nextmanup.com. Again, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.